Okay, so in these two examples, we'll convert from mass to atoms or number of things. So here we have 14.5 grams of B, which stands for boron, and we'll convert that into atoms of boron. Okay, so let's take a look at our concept map. We have mass, which is all in the left, and we want to convert it to the number of things. So this is a two-step problem. From mass to mole using the molar mass, and then from mole to number of things using Avogadro's number. Okay? So first, we always rewrite the number. Uh, this has three sig figs. Now, the first step was to convert from mass to mole. So to cancel mass, we'll write grams of boron on the bottom and mole on top. The molar mass of boron is 10.81. So 10.81 gram per mole. And we always say that because now we know that the 10.81 gram goes on the bottom per one mole on top. Now the grams cancels. Now, we don't want our answer in moles. We want our answer in, in atoms. So we take it one step further and we'll write mole on the bottom so that the moles cancel, right? And we'll end up with atoms of boron, okay? The relationship between uh, mole and atoms is that for every one mole, we have 6.022 times 10 to the 23rd atoms of boron. And, and that's it. So now we plug it into our calculator. We've got 14.5 times, I like to multiply everything on top first, hit enter, and then divide by uh, the bottom. So we'll take 6.022 times 10 to the 23rd, enter, divided by 10.81. Cool. So our raw answer is 8.0776136 times 10 to the 23rd. Now, we don't want all those digits. We only want our answer to three sig figs. So um, three, three sig figs will be right here. The 7 bumps us up to an 8, so this will be 8.08 .08 times 10 to the 23rd atom of boron. Circle your answer. Okay, for the next example, we'll convert from atom to mole. I'm sorry, from atom to mass. Okay? So to convert from atom to mass, we start all the way on the right with the number of things. We will convert to mole using Avogadro's number. And then from mole, we'll convert to mass using the molar mass from the periodic table. So we are given 2.267 times 10 to the 22nd atom of lithium, Li. Okay. We want to convert this into mass, which is grams of lithium. Okay. So the first step is to Rewrite this again, 
six seven times ten to the twenty second atoms of lithium. We want to convert from atoms to mole. So we will write atoms of lithium on the bottom and write mole of lithium on top. The relationship between mole and atom is that for every one mole of anything, we have 6.022 times 10 to the 23rd atoms. Okay, now the atom of lithium will cancel. Now to convert from mole to mass, we'll write mole of lithium on the bottom and we'll write gram of lithium on top. We'll take a peek inside of our table here. The molar mass of lithium is 6.941, right? But we want to round that to the hundredths place because those were the rules that we um, set in class. So this would be 6.94 gram of lithium for every mole of lithium. Now the mole of lithium will cancel. Okay, so here I'll, I'll do the same thing. I will multiply everything on top first, hit enter, and then I'll divide by this on the bottom. And since this is two numbers, I'm going to use parentheses so that the calculator knows that this is grouped on the bottom. Okay, so we have 2.267 times 10 to the power of 22. Enter. Times 6.94. Enter. And I'll divide it by, and group this by Avogadro's number, which is 6.022 times 10 to the 23rd. Okay, good. The raw answer that we get is 0 0.261258, and there are some more, right, uh, gram of lithium. But we don't want all those numbers. We want our answer in four sig figs. So our answer will be uh, 0 0.261. The um, five rounds two up to a three gram of lithium. Or if your teacher wants the answer in scientific notation, this would be 2.613 times 10 to the negative one. Um, it's negative because if we're trying to make this number, uh, this number, right? It needs to be mul multiplied by a power of negative 10 to decrease this number by a power of 10. Okay, so we'll have we'll write gram of lithium. A circular answer. Okay, so um, here are the practice prompts. Please pause the video here and try these on your own. and push play whenever you are ready and here are the answers.